What's up, y'all? Have you ever had anybody, like, kind of hate on your dreams and shit on your aspirations just out of lack of knowledge? You ever had that shit happen? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aces Galvin, coming at you guys real quick. Um, I wanted to talk about something real quick today, something that just kind of came to mind. Uh, listen to this. Have you ever had or inspired to do something, something great, maybe something that not everybody agrees with, but you ever inspired to do something, whether it was like, oh, I'm going to go join the military or I'm going to go overseas or I'm going to go uh, do this or that. Have you ever inspired to do something and then have someone pretty much hate on it just because they don't understand what it is that you're going to do or they have some kind of fear towards it? If that has happened to you, which has happened to a lot of people, I'm sure this video is for you guys. I just want to let you guys know if that ever happens to you or has ever happened to you, you know, where you had like a feeling where you really wanted to do something and you vented it or told it to a friend like, hey, bro, like, you know, I want to go travel the world. I want to go do this. And they looked at you and was like, man, with the way things are going on now, you don't need to go do that. You should just, you should just, you know, don't do that. That's stupid. Just stay in, you know, just stay here and do this. Just, you, you know, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much I've had this happen to me my whole life. Uh, I've had... I'm a very adventurous person. I've always wanted to do things that were a little abstract or a little different. Um, it's always been me. I've always been that guy that always wanted to just do stuff. This is why my life's been so hectic, which I will teach you guys more about my life later on. But I just wanted to say that I run into this situation so many times and it makes me literally sick to my stomach. And I know some of you guys do too. So I'm just going to kind of share some tips as to what I do to kind of counter it or deal with it when it happens to me. So hypothetically, let's just say that I have aspirations to go do something along the lines of, oh, um, you know, I want to go overseas because I do want to go overseas. So let's just say I want to go overseas and teach English. Let's just say that's my aspiration. And for me, that's actually one of my goals. It's something I really want to do. Normally, when I tell people that they have some kind of misunderstanding of it, like or some kind of fear where they don't agree with it, they think it's stupid to do. Oh, why would you want to go to another country or a third world country to do anything? Honestly, whenever that happens, I do take it as some people just, they just, they, they, you know, they have fear. The unknown is a very fearful thing for most people. What they don't know, they fear. And they don't know about what it's like across seas. And I think going overseas will change your whole life. It'll change your perspective on things. It'll make you appreciate things that you normally would never appreciate. So if you ever run into somebody having some kind of doubt, always keep in mind that they may not be doing it to piss you off. In reality, they just may be doing it because they just have lack of knowledge. And lack of knowledge can translate into fear, which can just translate into them being extremely negative to you about your goals and what you want to accomplish. And that's okay. Don't be mad at them too much for that. That's one way to look at it. Just understand that fear plays a huge part in that. Number two, the second thing I, advice I can give you is not everybody's going to view things the way you have to view them. You, sometimes you just have to take things with a grain of salt. Sometimes people are going to agree with what you do. Sometimes they're not. If they do not agree with what you do, you got to look at them. Maybe you have such a confidence or charisma about you where you truly believe that you can do anything you really want to do. That energy is not something that's common. So, yes, let's just say you want to go overseas and be a composer or you want to go overseas and make video games or you want to do something that is just really unique and different. Or I want to go to move to New York City and I want to be an actor. These are the things that some people have in them and some people don't. And most of the superstars and movie stars that you see, they have this factor that most people don't. Some people just want to be numbers and statistics and just be a guy that wakes up, goes to work at nine, comes home at five, gets in the house, does the same shit every day, and just repeats the situation every single day. I personally am not one of those guys, so I understand what it's like. But just always keep in mind, try not to get too mad at the person that's going at you about it. Just keep in mind that you may have certain character traits that allow you to have that positive mentality, which will lead to more positivity to come to you, and it'll also lead to you actually accomplishing these goals. Those are two things that I would say if you ever have someone really coming at you crazy for an ambition because some people are just going to hate it, hate on you because you didn't do it like them. It's really just what it is. And this happens to me a lot. Maybe it happens to some of you. But realistically, some people will literally hate on you just because you are not doing things as streamlined or the way they did it. Now, is there benefits to doing things the way you're supposed to and doing things streamlined and doing things that are not risky? Yes, of course there's benefits to that. 
but what what is life if you ain't out here really trying to go make things happen for yourself? I don't want to. I live a life where at any given moment, if I was to die, I don't want to be in those last seconds have regret that I didn't do something or live a certain type of way. I can't. I can't. I literally can't. I don't live life like I'll do it tomorrow. I live life like I don't have tomorrow guaranteed. So I got to do it today. That's really what it comes down to. Hopefully you guys can resonate with that. This is something that really just kind of pops into my mind here, here and there. And it's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Because I don't know, maybe some of you guys have the same issue. If you do, let me know. Because I definitely like to see what you guys feel. See if you guys can relate to what I'm saying. Let me know if you ever had any, have that happen to you. Let me know in the comments. I usually check and read everything. So just let me know, you guys. I'll see you guys with the next one. Peace.